It's the personality trait that'll absolutely doom you. Michael McLean, BrassBallsVideos.com. I have a special free gift training for you, uh, for members, people that are on my email list. You can subscribe at BrassBallsVideos.com. It's a training I did last year called Magnetic Speaking. It's 11 secret ways to become a magnetic speaker, communicator, influencer. And it's a training that's never seen the light of day. I did it last year. It was about 25 minutes in length and it was a confidential training I did for my $30,000 champion mastermind members, my best of the best. And uh, the four members that were in that private training uh, actually said that it was one of the most powerful trainings we did all year. So out of 52 weekly trainings, advanced top 1% trainings, uh, this was one of the most powerful trainings. And the reason I believe that it's something that can have an immediate impact on you, uh, yourself as a husband, as a father, as a um, uh, small business owner, um, good morning, uh, is the fact that I believe that the inability the inability to be able to speak well, uh, the inability to be able to stand up and present, the inability to be able to communicate, persuade and influence absolutely dooms a person. It limits your capacity as an entrepreneur. It limits your capacity as a man it limits your capacity as a leader. If I was, uh, if I'm blessed with one ability as a young person, I had a, a mentor who taught me at an early age that I was gonna learn to stand up and have the ability uh, to speak, to be able to stand up if I was at a wedding or if I was asked to deliver uh, a few words at a funeral, or if I was called upon in the classroom, uh, or just generally speaking, like speaking to the, the person who hands you your coffee in the morning, uh, having conversations with the doorman at the hotel, uh, the ability to communicate. I mean, there's no, I owe almost everything that I have in my world to this ability, this ability to be a magnetic speaker, a magnetic communicator, and a magnetic influencer. Look what I'm doing right now. I get up in the morning, I pray, I splash some water on my face, I put on this 25 pound rucking vest, I drink two glasses of water and I head out into the darkness for my 10,000 steps and I shoot this broken iPhone video for you. And I don't have cliff notes, I don't have cue cards, I just have an idea, a general idea, and I talk, I speak. I speak from the heart every day, I speak what's on my mind but I also have the skills and abilities to be a magnetic speaker, the way to present words, the way to tell the story. And storytelling is a massive part of being a magnetic speaker and influencer. Like that's one of the things that I cover, that's one of the 11 secrets that I cover in this special training is I was hammering home the fact to my guys, if you're a marketer, an advertiser or a copywriter, you need to be an outstanding storyteller. We're hardwired as human beings 
to remember stories, to be interested in stories. So if you have the skill to be able to stand up, whether it's at a wedding or whether you're giving a toast or whether you're shooting a video, even in your writing, whether you're writing emails, articles for your newsletter, um, you know, you're communicating with your staff, you're having a sales meeting, you need the ability to get up there and communicate through stories. It's the only chance you have for your message to be remembered. Storytelling is a massive part of being a magnetic speaker. And this is one of the 11 secrets that I go over on this 25 minute training. That in itself is pure, pure gold. So I owe so much in my life to being taught the ability to stand up and speak. And the way, uh, the way I was forced into it as a, as a child is my brother and my sister and I were all required to compete in the Legion public speaking contests. So I was in these annual Legion speak, public speaking contests every single year. And that, that was in itself an experience in magnetic speaking, handling stress, handling pressure, being able to story tell, being able to communicate, dealing with anxiety, all of these things. We had to write a speech every year in our classroom grade, anywhere from, you know, grade five through middle school. And we would compete inside our classrooms. And my younger brother and my older sister and myself, we would always win at that level because we put so much effort. It's a skill that can be developed. I can't stand like, oh, well, that person's a born communicator or that person's a natural. To some degree, everybody's a natural at one or two things. But you have to develop the skill. And I believe that being a magnetic speaker, a magnetic communicator and a magnetic influencer is a learned skill. I learned this skill over 20 years. But you don't have to spend 20 years. You can literally learn this skill, improve at this skill, become better at this skill in minutes and hours. So that's what I do with my 11 points that I taught my guys. I didn't, br I don't, I didn't bring anything to my $30,000 mastermind guys that wasn't the most important thing. So it allows you, Jerry Seinfeld had a funny line in, uh, in one of his uh, Seinfeld episodes where he was talking about the fact, the fact that public speaking is the number one fear of North Americans. Number one fear is public speaking. Being called on or asked to speak in front of people. Number one fear. It's ahead of getting sick. It's ahead of dying. Number one fear. In fact, dying is the number two fear. So most Americans and Canadians, their number one fear is public speaking. And it's a real fear, right? Same with uh, um, the, uh, the, excuse me, the, uh, <coughs> pardon me, the second fear, of course, is dying. So Jerry Seinfeld had the funny line of, if you're at a funeral, for most people, they would rather be in the casket than giving the eulogy. So uh, funny stuff from the great badass comedian, Jerry Seinfeld. But it's true. It's true. Most people would rather be in the casket than, than required to stand up there and give the eulogy or give a speech. So it's so freeing to have the ability to be called upon and have no problem, you know, delivering a, uh, a, a short uh, speech, being called upon to say grace, 
uh, being able to teach Sunday school or lead the lead a prayer um, you know and also one of the 11 things I talk about in this training is getting comfortable as an introvert talking to people this is something that I've worked on extensively the last year being a introvert I'm I'm comfortable with myself I'm very happy reading writing spending time at home with my wife and my daughter and I have no desire to you know socialize or be outside all the time or going to, to events and sporting games and barbecues I have zero desire I find that stuff tiring I find that stuff stressful I find that fatiguing I've said many times I'm more comfortable giving a speech to 2,000 people than I am talking to 15 people at a wine and cheese or a cookout or a barbecue because I'm I'm naturally an introvert I actually being an introvert means that you recharge alone being alone you recharge extroverts extroverts like my wife Krista recharged by being around other people so you really I mean you're one or the other right you reach you're an introvert or an extrovert so what's really interesting good morning what's really interesting is that you can work you can work on these different skills and you should and I have over the last year where I've spent some time getting out there in public but when I'm out there when I'm getting my morning coffee, when I'm at the gym now, when I'm out walking like this, that I'm now in the habit, the magnetic, um, the magnetic speaking habit of talking with other people. And it's been a fantastic experience. It's been such a big difference for me that, uh, good morning, it's been such a big difference not just you know going out and grabbing a coffee not just walking around the neighborhood getting my steps in but now working on my magnetic skills of speaking and being curious not judgmental in other words like my pop says there's something to be learned from every single person you meet the bum on the street the corporate ceo everybody there's something to be learned you can learn what to do you can learn what not to do uh, so, some people's life is a warning some people's lives is an example but there's something to learn about from everybody and I've focused on that the last year by asking all kinds of questions being genuinely curious in other people's stories and I've been learning so much this year that I would not have normally learned because I'm asking questions and I'm listening to hear. I'm listening to understand. I'm not asking questions and listening to respond anymore. I'm asking questions and I'm listening to understand. Most people just listen to respond. Their listening skills are lousy. But I'm now listening, I'm doing the opposite of everybody else and I'm listening to hear. I'm listening to understand. And I'm being curious, not judgmental. I'm learning so much about people, like whether I'm grabbing a coffee, whether I'm, I, I'm talking to somebody at the gym, whether I'm meeting people at the tennis court or the pickleball court, uh, you know, out here on these morning walks, at the pool reading. I'm meeting so many interesting and fantastic people that I would have normally never even had a conversation with. It's not easy, it's not natural for me, but I must admit it's been absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So with that said, um, this training is gonna cover things like that. And you can, uh, go to brassballsvideos.com 
and you can uh, put in your email and you will get access to this 25 minute training that I did last year. Uh, it's a nice bonus for following me here on YouTube. It's a nice bonus for being part of my email list. And by the way, if you're already on my email list, uh, I will email this link out to you uh, in the next, uh, the next few days. So of course, you'll also be getting it. I send it by email, I'm an email guy. But everybody will get access, everybody that's on my email list will get access to this 25 minute training uh, that I am, uh, uh, that I'm talking about here, magnetic uh, speaking, the 11 ways to uh, become a magnetic speaker. I can't, I can't emphasize this enough, guys. I just can't emphasize this enough. It's the reason that I'm, uh, it's the reason that I'm making this free to you is because don't doom yourself. Don't doom your children. Don't doom your spouse into a world of being afraid to stand up and talk. Don't doom yourself into situations where you're anxious, you're stressed, because you have to give a presentation, you have to give a webinar, you have to give an update, you gotta speak in front of somebody, you gotta have a team meeting, you gotta run sales meetings, or you're anxious to be at a family reunion. Get rid of all that stuff. Get rid of all that stuff by studying this 25 minute training. It can literally transform your mindset and your behavior. And it's gonna make you a magnetic speaker, a magnetic communicator and a magnetic influencer. And it's gonna give you things to continue to work on so that you'll get better and better. But just think about it. Like um, when I was a child, I would have never thought that I could stand up and, and talk to, you know, pro hockey players in a locker room. I did that at the age of 24, 25, 26, addressing players on my team that had played in the NHL, that had played pro hockey. I've, I've, I've been in locker rooms for the last 20 years delivering pre-game uh, reports, pre-game game plans. I've run video sessions, I've run hockey camps, hockey schools, I've taught Sunday school, I've, I've shot hundreds and hundreds of these videos. I've given speeches in front of 100 people, in front of 2,000 people. I've, um, you know, all of these experiences I would have missed out on. I would have missed out, I was the president of the Rotary Club and the reason I stepped up as president is I felt comfortable running meetings. Uh, I was able to run sales meetings every week in all my companies and stand up and talk to my team and have five minute stand up power meetings. All of these things, I've coached skating, I've coached minor hockey, I've coached youth hockey. All of these things that I now take for granted that I'm comfortable with, all came out of, be of being and developing myself as a magnetic speaker. Hey, the gift is right there. All you have to do is go and opt in. Brassballsvideos.com. Make sure you put your primary email in because I'm gonna send you the training link by email. I'm an email guy. It's the reason I want your email. And uh, you can unsubscribe at any time if email isn't your cup of whiskey. I don't care about that. Uh, but I'll have the training, I'll email it to you, and then you let me know what you think about that special training. Magnetic speaking, 11 secret ways to become a magnetic speaker, magnetic communicator, and magnetic influencer. Stop dooming yourself. Stop dooming yourself into... Uh, uh, this personality habit of being afraid to stand up and speak, this fake humility, um, it's, a, it's a personality trait that dooms people. And make sure you do the exact opposite and have the personality trait 
develop your personality trait and develop the skill to stand up in any circumstance, to talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, to talk to people in groups, and like Jerry Seinfeld said, to abolish and to defeat what is the number one, the number one fear for most other people. If it's the number one fear for most people, it's a fear that we all have to tackle and we have to defeat. You'll do that with this magnetic speaking training. Brassballsvideos.com. I, uh, two words that have changed my life, two words that'll change your life. Be relentless.